immediate. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Captain's Draft League here on All About Dota. A little bit different than uh, our normal standard AT 82L action, but we are super excited we finally got on the schedule. And uh, first game is up and at em. We got Potato Heads versus Retards and 09. Legion and Maniac are here as well. Guys, uh, what do you think of the picks on this Captain's Draft? Um, not a huge fan of the first pick, Doom, but, uh, you know, Lesh Jug is a very good opener. Death Prophet, good, uh, a good mid laner. A little odd to see, you know, like, so many cores picked out at the beginning. At least I would assume this is Electric Core. I know we've seen Electric support at, like, Epicenter, but I don't think it's nearly as good as the Electric Core, but we'll see it's a pretty good matchup against the death prophet actually should be able to farm decently well the doom's the big question mark i guess it's just a hero that they value a lot i don't it think it's pretty good against the lesh yeah that's kind of where i was sitting is it's not probably the best first pick but since they picked the lesh it kind of works out since you want to stop a lot of casting coming out from him there's the hero that uh, Sequoia wants to see more of. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I love Tree. I just man, I played Tree. According to PPD, he's he's gonna make a comeback. That's what that's what I keep. Yeah, but you know what? PPD said that twice now this year even. <laughs> and have we seen him yet? I don't know. Like, I think he made an appearance at Epicenter actually a couple. Of yeah, yeah, he I did think... get come in a couple times. I just haven't seen him played extremely effectively. Like it seems like one of those heroes. At, uh, this is just my opinion. I think he's one of those heroes you're like, oh, man, Tree? And then he, he plays really well, and then you don't see him again for a while because he's easy to figure out and easy to deal with. It's just when you haven't seen him for a long time, you kind of forget about him. But, man, yeah, all my heroes are just terrible. So I would love to, I would love to see one of them come back. And Tree's probably one of my favorites. Ar Ooh, an Arc Warden. The Arc Warden. I kind of like Tree and the Centaur, though. Um... You know, you hear that ult go off. You can counter with his ult. Really good counter to deal with that. Tree even with Death Prophet's pretty good. Ten I'm always... I think the thing I'm most curious about the tree is what Five they do for a build. Remaining. I think the build on tree is what can make or break tree. On a game like this, I think that going that... That Sand King build, that super tanky Sand King build of going like a pipe into, you know... In this game, the Crimson's going to be really nice. So if you went, like, pipe into Crimson Guard or something like that, you could you could do pretty well in this game as a Treant, I feel. Like, it, you're going to really force Potato Head to buy a lot of vision. So, I mean, that's good. A little concerning that they have Doom and Treant, who both kind of fulfill the same role. Is there, like, this tanky frontliner with a long cooldown alt? The armor will be nice uh, for, like, the Death Prophet. Or even the Doom, if the Arc, depending on where the Arc Warden's at. Coming out with uh, two of the frontline-y, tanky people there. Carry is going to have to be a very high damage person so that they can have actual damage to output. Yeah, um, the Trolls available. It's another pretty good pairing with the Treant. Or the Ember Spear. That's actually a really good pairing with the, the Treant Protector. You get that armor on there and prevent that Flame Guard from going down. Oops. And they actually got Chen. Oh, an instant last pick. Okay, so that I got the Ember, right? So this is like a 5 support Chen with the Treant Protector. Yeah, it's probably more like a Treant Protector 5 with the Chin 4. So, Potato Head probably needs a support. Um, Io's available. <laughs> Kunkka, I guess, also. I think Kunkka might be pretty good here, especially against the, like, the Ember. If he slights away, then you can bring him back, potentially. Yeah, I think that'd be better because with the IO, 
He doesn't have a stun, and I think they're kind of lacking stun here. Yeah, Lena is another option. A little bit of lockdown. If they wanted to do the Lesh as a support, they could go like Puck, and then again, then you have some kind of limited lockdown. You have a silence. There isn't really a stun hero available, though. I mean, Kunkka, but that's not really very reliable. Lena, again, not super reliable. Kunk could be a good setup for the Leshric too. I know it'd more be crazy, but it, what do you think like about Kunkka. Centaur running as the four spot? I don't think that'd be super crazy. I mean, he does have the stun. The question would be then, who are you going to pick for the off lane? Okay. I was just going to oh. say, if he goes four, he could go with the LC. But It could just be like a out. jungle LC, though, too. I've seen support LC, uh, like, not a lot, but I've seen it a couple times. Yeah, her uh, uh, attack speed bonus, I always forget the name of it, but is really good for putting on your cores. Really good on that R cord and help push. That is a crazy Treant Protector set that I've never seen before. I have, I, that's pretty cool, though. I think it was Last Compendium, something like that. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how they do this. If it is the four support centaur, or if it's like a jungle legion commander. I mean, it's almost certainly electric five support. I mean, unless they do something really crazy and have arc warden support, but I don't think that would be the case. My guess is arc warden mid jug jug plus lesh top, and then the other two bottom. I don't know. It'd be very interesting. Oh god, I have the camera bug. Oh no. I think what's most oh my gosh, Legion, Where are you? we have an aggro tri lane. Ooh. I think it the does. most important thing is this juggernaut looks like he was stung by about fifty bees in the face. Just looks like he has a giant swollen face. Should be a weird trialing. Lesh, Arc Warden, and Juggernaut. Yeah, it is really weird. So they're running the the Arc Warden support. Uh, I guess you put the the flux, the slow on them, and use the spin and oh, thank goodness. Done, I guess. I can control my camera again, boys. We're we're in business. Did you have the sweet directed camera bug, or just that you couldn't move the camera bug? I had the. I was watching someone else's camera. Yeah, bug. Okay. I was I'm actually rage quit. On I was. I'm actually surprised you got it to work because I don't think we've been able to fix that one by resetting before. I definitely rage quit if I was stuck on my camera too. So. The last time he had the directed camera, you know how good that is. <laughs> yeah. Just like sits in random land. <laughs> yeah, there was one point I was like sitting in the side shop jungle for like five minutes. It was great. Radiant taking three of them bounty runes. It is a sport arc warden though, so that is interesting. Well, I'm a, a mid legion commander. I'm bummed I didn't call. I, I thought I got the support right and I was all excited, and apparently I was still wrong. Only half pro uh, analysis. What do you think this mid lane's gonna how how the mid lane's gonna do? I think the Death Prophet would do pretty well in this, wouldn't she? As she gets a few levels, just get the Spirit Siphon, and it'll be really hard for the LC to stand there. Yeah, it's gonna take some levels. She's not. It's gonna be pretty, pretty even for like the first two or three levels, probably. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I did not catch it. But looks like there was a spin on Juggernaut and uh, the flux into the, the flux, slow, yeah. or flux into the spin. Yeah, making this even harder for the Legion commander is going to be the Chen. I a little surprised that the Legion went for the overwhelming odds uh, point. I know that it's very popular to help farm, but in this kind of matchup, I feel she's going to need all the regions she can get, especially since she didn't buy any. She got Tango's pooled, but that was it. And this Chen is going to be making life difficult for Sunny and Lord Drago. Two tower shots there. 
unfortunate tree you eat by the Arc Warden for him. Looks like Arc Warden's trying to help mid. I'm just not sure what he's going to really accomplish beyond putting the mines down. The Spark Race, as they call it. Yeah, the chin's gonna kind of rotate up and try to <laughs> steal some of this, uh, steal the bounty rune. And again, a little bit of a dive with oh, the jug oh, the time. The centaur's, centaur's in a bit of trouble getting chased down. Oh. Looks like the tree's gonna let be sent go. after him, but the ember doesn't want to lose his CS. Yeah, he's gonna just TP out. Head back to actually his tier one. That 94 hit by the tree already with the, the root coming out from his slow. Or from his and the death prophet found him. Shin's gonna rotate on top here. The net will come out on him. He tries to throw the stun, but takes an infernal blade for his trouble. He Ooh. does get the stun onto the doom. He will be able to walk away now as the chin is only level one. So pretty good rotation, but he's not able to get anything done. And it looks like the juggernaut decided after that uh, death to rotate into the bottom lane. Centaur is gonna walk his way up towards the top lane. I think Juggernaut versus Ember is a pretty favorable matchup for Juggernaut. It should be pretty even. Um, the spin damage is magical, so the Ember will be able to block some of that with Flame Guard. Uh, but at the same time, the root won't be quite as effective. Ooh. There's the spin. Dumbfounded actually didn't use the Flame Guard there. Now he puts it up here. He's got the roots on the Sunny, followed by the root from the troll, and. Sunny will go down. Jug's taking a lot of damage, but Dumbfounded took quite a few pot shots from the tower. Does salve up. Even with a little bit of a misplay with the stunning and just or the, with the wards, they easily took out that Arc Warden. Yeah, Arc Warden not really a super tanky hero. As ET does take a lot of harass here from the Electric. Oh, Juggernaut. Let's see if he can man fight this tree, and he's going to get the kill. Tree goes down now. Ember's actually in a bit of trouble. Gets the root from the troll, but the Ember does not want to go in for it. Ooh, Leshrick going pretty aggressive here. Doom's actually rotating in. Gonna scare him off, provide a little protection for his Ember spirit. And I don't know and what's Leshrick going on. Leshrick might be top. in a iffy position here. He's wrapping around through the secret shop. There are a couple spark wraiths down there. I think he saw those. Looks like he wants to go for Dumbfounded, but there's no way he's going to be able to get over there to him. And pings do come out. The Doom spotted that out. Kind of a uh, musical lanes. It's something that I know we talk about a lot in AD2L is, you know, get the lane that benefits you. And these teams definitely are un make, un making good use of that, trying to match up lanes that they have the advantage in. Missed that, but uh, Ember <laughs> rotates back up top. Oh, Leshrick nails the stun on the chin. Gonna throw down the lightning and probably get this left. Uh, one more click, and he's gonna go down. Five to four in five minutes. Woo! Bloodbath. Yeah, the power of the Leshrick right there. You got the slows, you've got the stuns. I mean, his skills, for what they provide, don't actually cost a lot. He's. Very, very close to mana boots already. How's this mid lane doing? We haven't really been talking about that. It's been kind of a lot of action bottom and top. It's pretty even. The Death Prophet is up a little bit in net worth, but overall it seems like they're both pretty content to farm with three points in Crypt Swarm and uh, three in the overwhelming odds. So neither hero really looking to, to do much killing. Just kind of farming and they're both doing all right. Doom really trying to get something done on this Leshrick here, but Juggernaut and Arc Warden are not letting him do anything. Pops his Scorched Earth, heals up a little bit, back to farming CS. No, now the Death Prophet looks like she wants to go for something, uh, but there's a haste rune for the LC. That is very convenient. The Courier will have to get fortified there. Or whatever you call that. I was about to say, what do, you, what do you call that? I, I was, I would have said the same thing. I don't know. It looks like a fortify, so I'm going to call it fortify. That's a good point. They should change the animation on that. Oh, looks like a mango pop by Lesh. 
Talk about like new best support item early game. Yeah, I, th I think that uh, Mango is uh, pretty supremely good right now. I like, completely agree. Uh, there were some pros talking about how, um, like, if you random, you get the two extra mangoes. And I think it was CC and C was talking that, like, at the divine ranking, Ooh, like, got a that's in Doom thrown out on Juggernaut, but he ends up getting the spin off, and likely Doom will go down because of it. Juggernaut had a bunch of trouble. He will follow, and I think that'll be it. Two cores go down. Yeah, he, he, CC and C was saying that at the divine skill level. And this was liked by a couple other pros that two mangoes is an insane advantage to have uh, for free. And, I mean, the regen that it provides you alone is worth it. That's kind of how I feel about it, too. I mean, the uh, mana pop is totally good, especially in those situations as a support hero where you need just one skill off to protect your core. But even better that you can be a little bit more aggressive. And Doom have... going for the, the lash. Oh, double stun from the centaur! I think. Oh, he just barely misses the flesh. Doom gonna eat one of those Chen creeps. <laughs> trying to get a smack on Juggernaut here, but he is not quite fast enough. Yeah, he's got that level three Infernal Blade, which is a lot of damage. Ooh, Tree misses his invisible timing up here. Not able to get that, and Centaur gets his stun off. Ember Spirit pops his Flame Guard, but. Not even close to Centaur. He will just casually walk away from that one. You'll see almost going down mid. Death Prophet's starting to oh, here comes push that her out of lane a little. Fat level 3 Infernal Blade. Oh, oh, he gets a spin off in time, protects himself. He's really not letting him get that Infernal Blade off. He knows how much that's going to hurt. So, like, here's my problem with the, the Soul Ring buildup on the Legion Commander, is that it's 700 gold so that you can spam uh, a farming ability, but unless you're, like, in big lane, or big waves oh, of creeps, it doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Go. I don't really like it. It's I think it's more of an annoying item than, a, than an effective item. I mean, I see it all the time, so I think that there is, like, some value to it, but I think that most people, like, don't think about the situation. They're just like, oh, I need to buy Solar Ring so I can spam abilities. And, oh, nice dodge there by Dumbfounded Sun. He's got Shackles available. Sunny is here as well. Does not have a Flux for another five seconds. The Spark Wraith will not hit. Almost picking up that uh, kill in the middle of two heroes. Another Doom popped out on Juggernaut bottom lane. Trolls are looking for him. Not able to get found. They do find a Leshrick instead. They're going to start blasting him down. However, the Chen gets popped by that tower. One more blast. Oh, and the stun finishes him off. And Juggernaut is able to get out. And he pops a healing ward. Lord. And now he'll be able to get back up to likely full health. And maybe even heal the Chen army too. Those creeps are looking. We're trying to kill it. <laughs> I keep thinking Chen's on Radiant. That's like, I've only messed up on saying it once, but I keep thinking he's on Radiant. Another Death Prophet mid popped. Alt popped mid. Centaur. And unfortunately for her, she's not getting a whole lot accomplished. Nice stomp. Yeah. Two Took hero overwhelming odd. Not a whole lot. Took a ton of damage for doing that, too. I will say one thing that I do like that I think many legion commanders don't do is phase boots such a good item on that hero like it gives you the extra damage the move speed to get in position for a duel i understand like the value of treads but i feel that legion commander is definitely a hero that benefits from phase i mean just the phase alone almost it makes me feel like it's worth it like you not being able to have to run through run around something in order to get the ult off it just seems yeah, incredibly then, useful. Especially in a game like this where your blink dagger is kind of delayed. It allows you to get that uh, that duel off early. Which I'm a little surprised level 9 already and we haven't even seen a duel. No rotations been made. Usually around level 6 I'm either buying or calling for a support to buy a smoke so that I can go and get that first duel. Got a pretty really large important to get that damage. Ten army bottom here. Legion Commander. Oh, speaking of a duel, gets go. launched up on Doom. Probably not going to get a win here, but oh, the Chen save. Now I think Chen will sacrifice his life for the better of the cause. And 
Wow. Yeah, I think this is just a really hard game for Legion to get duels, because I think Chen is going to be your best bet for heroes, because most other people are fairly tanky, and we're at least having his flame guard, but... Yeah. I think the electric was just like a like not out of position, but just wasn't quite there yet. I think if he's able to land a couple abilities before the duel goes off, they get that. But Ooh, Ember Spirit. Just not quite able. Not to. really sure what he's doing there. Looks like he's, he's gonna... just pushing behind the tower a little bit. He's trying to get the creep wave to the tower, put a little pressure there. I like his move there. He throws out a spirit, so the two uh, enemy heroes head to, towards the spirit and are able to get out. Ooh. The shockwave misses the Arc Warden on the TP out, almost getting him. Kind of grouping up bottom here now. Looks like they're going to try to push the last of this tower down. And in the meantime, they're going to try to exchange mid and top. Electric does not have a point in Edict yet. Ooh, fires the lightning in the immortal creeps. Radiant heroes were leading in net worth for quite a while there, but uh, it looks like the Ember and the Crab both kind of picking up steam, which is not really a good story Ooh. for Radiant. Omni Slash and a freaking Chen ult to save, and now a duel! Doom will finally go down! Ember Spirit rotates in, gets a very nice chains off. Juggernaut's gonna be locked into position for now. No spin for him. The Siphon's gonna come out and start just munching away his mana, but the stick will save him. And now Death Prophet getting caught out. Leshrick starting to lay down the pain. She's gonna send herself in the air, buying her some additional time. Now Arc Ward does go down as well. Now Death Prophet finally goes down. Centaur's coming in here, gonna see if he can get something done. Ember pops a mango, which kind of tells the Radiant that they do not want to pursue anymore, and they don't. And that team fight goes, what, 2-1? Two, 2-2. One? Two, two. Oh, and a buyback on Lesh, too. Got a small net worth lead gaining on the dire. What? So what team benefits from an, a good early game and a stronger late game? Uh, I mean, I think that both are kind of even in terms of like what they offer in the late game. But I think that the dire's path to get to the late game is harder because you have Ember, who's not really a great hero that, you know, farming hero until he gets his first item. Whether that's the the Battle Fury which he's going now or the Maelstrom, uh, once he gets that, his farm will exponentially escalate. And he actually is looking maybe for a kill here onto the flesh. He's going to remnant forward. He has the Searing Chains out on him, and yeah, a sleight of fist will will do it. The Centaur Alt slows him for a moment, but he's going to walk away completely free. And that's the rest of his Battle Fury. So. Uh, his his farm is just going to take off here, and in the meantime, Juggernaut is still very long ways away from his. Not really sure. Like, their farm disparity, I guess it is 1,700 difference, so. Yeah, the Jug quite a ways away from his Battle Fury, which is not real great. Legion Commander also not, like, a hugely great farming hero until she gets some, either some stolen damage or an item or two. She's still about 500 gold away from that blink dagger. Ooh, get a nice caught up on... Oh, the tree comes in, saves the Ember Spirit. I'm not sure if the Do Doom was slow or if the tree all per stopped it, but... Nice save. Legion Commander not able to get that duel off on Ember. I think she was just out of range. Oh, now it looks like... Oh, maybe not. Spark Wraith actually did a fairly large amount of damage to Ember Spirit, but they don't care. They want to go for the center. The he will be amplified by Chen and brought down pretty easily. That looks Man, like they... was a lot of damage in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just exploded there. I was actually about to say it's probably not the hero they want to go on, and then he just died. I couldn't even say it. Chen Heal will come out to help negate some of that Leshrig damage, which is actually a decent amount. They're going to have to be a little bit careful here, though. Looks like Radiant do want to defend this. Spark Wraiths are all over the place. Legion Commander keeps getting really nice nukes off. 
causing a fairly large amount of damage. Looks like Centaur will come in here. Stun on Doom. He will get dueled up as well. That'll be a dead Doom. Death Prophet Alt comes out on the back line. Going to see if she can get some stuff done. Going to send herself in the air. Ember's doing some sleight of fist action, but no deaths on the Radiant quite yet. Ember's going to, wow, takes out the Lesh with his ult. Centaur going to re-engage, trying to get a stun off. Legion Commander will start beating down the Ember Spirit. And they're going man-to-man -man, man mode. Oh, the Legion Commander gets hit gangbang by the entire dire team and gets taken down. So far we have a two for two, or no, two for three exchange. That was a good remnant by Dumbfounded. Legion Commander is trying to get another attack off there, which might have not killed him, but brought him fairly close. But he actually remnants through it, picks up the kill. Was Juggernaut in on that fight? I don't think he was. Uh, I don't think so. It may be. He's, his Omni's down, so he must have been in there. Okay. Yeah, I thought maybe the Death Prophet alt was a little uh, premature, but worked out really well in the end. Did get another duel. I like what this DP is doing, too. She's got Yules and is going BKB next. Like, most of the damage right now is magical, whether it's the overwhelming odds or the spark race or the spin. Um, there is physical damage in the future of this game, but right now you're not super scared of it as the Battle Fury is still not done and Legion only has 20 stolen damage, so I like the choice there. Yeah, if you, the longer, I mean, that essentially is going to give her what? Almost guaranteed 13, 14 seconds in a fight. That could be death with her ult. Yeah, this Chen's going pipe too, which again I love. I know the temptation is to go the mechanism. Uh, oh, oh if he's going to walk right into a center here. Oh no, the, the duel! Nice the duel. setup. Well, I'm a little surprised that he didn't try to use that centaur to stun beforehand. Maybe a little bit of panic trying to get those creeps out of there. I, I don't think it would have saved him, but maybe, maybe delays the duel long enough to not give up the damage. But a good movement there by Potato Heads. Yeah, it's one of those things where you always want to be super careful when you're walking uphill. That Dyer actually uh, do a little swashing of the Centaur, but man, Omni, not, Omni Slash is there. Going to deal out a ton of Bane. Dust is still up on the tree. He, Juggernaut doesn't care about Doom. Well, now he does because he's dead, but he didn't before. And now Dyer want to see if they can get some payback action here. It's only a double. They have a potential of getting it depending on if Ember wants to commit or not. Boy, that electric slow, just keeping him in. Well, he sees the real one now. Now he's going to rim it forward. There's the chains. He's got all kinds of damage here. Oh. Yep. I think they're kill. just underestimating the power of the Ember Spear right now. He's doing a lot of damage from magical and doing decent physical at this point. I think a big problem, too, is the uh, lack of radiant vision. I mean, if you look where That's it's at, it's all in too. the mid lane. It's, it's very well set up for taking that mid lane tower. The problem is, is the tree and protector. Like, look at the towers right now for Dire. The bottom tower has uh, about 600 damage to it, but everything else is uh, topped off full health. I mean, this is what it's like to try to push into the tree and beyond the electric, they don't really have great heroes to push buildings, and he's only got one point in Edict. You even have two carts on the channel. Oh god, three carts. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. that's brutal. You just gotta find a five minute wave now. They've got one in the mid lane here, so we can have six carts going towards that tier two tower. The thing oh, will just Oh, yeah. there's another one. Oh, he must have just so the right. timer must have run out on one. Jeez. Legion encroaching on Blade Mill. Not quite Pop there yet. Go into Roche. Still no Battle Fury on the Jug. He can go get it now, but there's going to be a ward here that's going to see this. Whether or not they want to do anything about it after this Roche. Oh, he's going to walk right past the ward there, right past the Tree Protector. He's oh, get rid of nice. Centaur jumps in, stuns nothing but the Roshan. Now we've got team fight. Omni comes out. The Chen heal is there. They're chasing after this Doom, trying to get something, but they can't do it. Legion Commander still running after the Doom. She's going to purge herself and then go forward, but the back line there. Ember Spear picks up a triple kill. He's just tearing through the Radiant. He wants more. Momentarily chasing Juggernaut, besides dead. 
hit these creeps. And then they'll just go back into the Roshan pit here. Tire Radiant kind of splitting targets and splitting up and then just getting picked off one by one by that Ember. I'm just the digging Centaur. all these catapults here. I... <laughs> The Centaur thought he was going to have a big initiation, and he almost did. If, if the Juggernaut doesn't walk by there, he probably actually gets a stun on two to three heroes, but the Juggernaut tips their hand, and now we get to see four, two, four catapults. Oh just, my just gosh. 22 <laughs> minutes in, and it's like it's freaking 80 minutes in. Like, that tower just melted. That is actually pretty hilarious. It has another kill. Ember picks up another kill onto the Legion Commander. God's Ember boots of travel. Snowballing out of control at this point. 10, yeah, 0, and 6. Gonna go Lincoln's next, too, which is gonna make uh, this Legion's life miserable. I am just completely uh, in love with these four Siege Creeps. I can't play Chen, but I could probably get four Siege Creeps with Chen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that tower. Yeah, there. Getting three towers out of after that Roche. You know, they really don't have a building hitter either besides the, the Death Prophet ult, but uh, I guess four catapults is a way to fix that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually a very, very, very good point. And he moves some high grounds, so they get all their hits. This high ground tower is just melting. And the Juggernaut's not here either. He's trying to split push. He does get the tier one tower, and now TP's back. The Centaur are all into the middle of things here. Will they try to defend this? A stun onto two heroes. Uh, double edge, I think, went onto the crowd. The duel is in the back line here. Uh, the Legion Commander will get the damage, but the root is there now as well. The Doom's gonna throw it down the, the Infernal Blade. It's just chaos here. It's three heroes for the Radiant dead already. There goes a fourth. The Leshric will buy back. The Juggernaut buys back now too. The Rex gone. The damage is done. And Dire will back off. A kill does go the way of the Leshric. That was a 10 streak, so 900 gold going to the Lesh. But it's a big exchange of gold, XP, and map control. It's all in favor of the Dire. I will say it's kind of an interesting choice that they gave the Aegis to Death Prophet because she dies, her ult doesn't come back. It seems like it would have been more value to give it to the Ember who... Yeah, I was actually going to say gonna the same thing. A lot more. Yeah, great minds. Um, especially since Ember's going to be on the front line too, right? Like, Krob has methods of saving herself. She has the Yule, she has the BKB. Yeah, Ember Spirit wants to be in the middle of things fighting, so I agree. Kind of an interesting decision. It does mean, though, that they can just kind of suicide push again here in about 50 seconds. The most important thing, though, is the four catapults live. My friend, <laughs> We need to give them names. Cardi, Cardi Jr., Cardi the third, Cardi the fourth. <laughs> so, oh, oh goodness. The Ember Spirit does die for his uh for his greed, but he picks up a kill of his own. How is he only worth four hundred and thirty six gold? That's crazy. And sadly for the Legion Commander it doesn't get that. Yeah, Blue Chen's picking up Cardi number five. <laughs> And they got one more coming in on their own wave, so they got a, a lot of power to just go in there with those. That is a lot of. That's just so fun. <laughs> uh, like I don't think this would work in every game, but it it's kind of fascinating to watch in this one. Like I can honestly say I've never seen this before. No. Like, I... <laughs> I mean, it's hilariously creative, but I've never seen Do it. you think this was, like, something he was like, I'm going to get a bunch of carts, or, like, he got one cart, and he's like, huh, we could use some high ground. I'm just going to get a bunch of them. I, I don't know. I would love to to know. I'd love to talk to him to find out, like, was this the plan all along? Like, hey, we don't have good tower hitters, so let's get a crap load of carts. Uh, there is a fight here. Doom will come out nice. Shackle on the two heroes there. Not Shackle, but... Chain. These, these freaking carts are ridiculous. Yeah. The stun from the center onto two. The silence onto the juggernaut though, taking a lot of damage. Searing. Oh my goodness, he gets out of there with about a hundred HP, able to spin his way out. Uh, 
Oh, Ember Legion Spirit. The duel. All right, so winner to the Ember Spirit, or to the Legion Commander. Link forward by the Tree Protector onto four heroes. Omni Slash will go off. The Lesh is going to die into the middle of things here. The Bubble momentarily saving people. The Legion Commander in the middle of it, but she's going to die too. The buyback does come out from the Centaur. Our Gordon is just backing up, trying to get something done. The buyback from the Ember Spirit now. He just wants to end this game completely. The stun onto the Doom. Legion Commander walking forward. The Blade Mill is out. She does not have a duel, however. And it looks to be much ado about nothing. I don't know how the Radiant do this. The tower is just melting there. Another bubble going to try to protect the uh, Rax, and it will for the moment. But what can they do to follow this up? The Blink in the stun onto four hero, three heroes there. The double edge onto two. Legion Commander's in the middle of things now. Does have a duel. The Blade Mill comes up, but she's just getting wrecked. Does not even matter. She's down for 60 seconds. And, and the Chen still has his hand of God. And the Ember oh. almost picks up a double kill there. Arc Warden will buy back now. You have a nice uh, Veil. The Lightning is doing lots of damage here, but there's... Oh my god, this Doom. The Infernal Blade to just stop the Lesher's progression. The Remnant 4 gets a kill. Ember wants more. The Lincolns does get popped there. He slides through, does a lot of damage to four heroes. And now the fountain diving can commence. Meme hammer. <laughs> yeah, wow, meme I haven't hammer seen that one in a while. <laughs> kind of an interesting choice to go on your support arc warden, but... And GG is called. Game one goes to... Oh, thank God. That oh, was very, uh, very well played by the guy there. That Ember Spirit had, uh, I mean, both the Ember and the Death Prophet had really, really good early games, and that allowed them to take control in this. It looked very even for a while, but the the Jug and Legion just fell further and further behind. Felt like the Legion couldn't really get a whole lot done. Crazy. Well, guys, uh, I think this is a two-game series. I think this is still the group stage. There's a couple, another week of that, which will be pretty nuts. Oh, yeah, actually, before we go, I want to check out the Chen building damage. Oh, my gosh, 11,000 building damage for the Chen. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, this only a one game? Oh, is it only one game? I don't know. You were just saying before we go. Oh, yeah, no, no, but just take a quick break. Oh, and we'll yeah. be back. I'm for 99% sure it's a two-game series. I could be wrong. But we will hopefully be back in just a few minutes.
Hey everybody, I uh, it was wrong. It was a best of one, so they, we are done for the evening. Very short cast, but thank you for watching. We're going to try to do more Captain's Draft action later in the week. I think there's another week of group stages, and then they're on to the playoffs. So we're hoping to do more just uh, with end of the school year and all that fun stuff schedule has been quite busy for our staff but we're getting everything organized and we'll do as best we can to try to have a couple more captain's draft matches before the playoffs so thanks for tuning in if you like what we do definitely subscribe to us on twitch and we will see you next time